Hey YouTube, this is Nurio. I'm here with a Skyrim Special Edition video guide on reverting your Skyrim SE back any version in case uh, Bethesda decide to drop an update video and your mod list just got completed. So let's go ahead and start off by opening our run menu. You can do this by pressing the Windows key plus R. So just bring over the run menu, you'll see it right here. So what we want to do is go ahead and paste the following. I will provide a full link in the description so you can follow along with the video. Once you do that, we want to hit OK. You'll see this will bring up a Steam uh, a Steam console. This is what it's called, Steam console. From there, we will be copying the following. Now, I, again, with the instructions, it will show you how to do this properly and find it in case you ever need to do it for anything. Again, this is a you know, continuated guide. I want it to be so that you can look back at this and do it at any point. So. As you see, I have the download depot, uh, whatever the numbers are. These are essentially directory numbers to the Skyrim ID page. Uh, now, you will have a space that you need to fill in with a long string of numbers that you'll find off the manifestation page, uh, which I will be showing you right now. So we will need to go ahead and open it. One of the links I have provided below will take you to this very page right here where you will get your manifestation ID. This manifestation ID needs to be included with that, um, with the copyable that I have in the description. So we'll just take that, we'll slam that right there. The one you will always need if you need to go back to just one version will be the second row. Uh, the one, in, the one that's first is the current version. So this one is the one prior. Once you do that, we'll just hit enter, and you'll see it will be downloading the the depot. Uh, when it is done, it will place it in a location on your Steam uh, file directory, which I will show you how to get to. Okay, so now it is done. Now that it is done, it'll show you actually where it is. So what you want to do is you can either take that link, copy it, and put it in your file explorer, or you can just go there yourself. Uh, if you know how to, it's you know pretty simple from there. Uh, you see we now have a Skyrim XE or a Skyrim SE.exe. Uh, what we want to do real quick, just to validate that we have the correct version, we want to right click it, go to properties, uh, make sure you don't click the folder, click the ex executable properties, go to details and validate its version. The one I had prior to it would be 1.5.8, which is correct. Once we have that one, we can either copy or cut, whichever you decide and then we'll navigate over to where our Skyrim file is actually stored, where mine is would be Steam Apps, uh, Content, Common, um, and then we just come down here. And you see we have the current one. We wanna just go ahead and replace that by hitting Paste and then Replace. And once that is done, you can go ahead and run your SKSC. It should recognize the version as it is prior and you should have no more conflicts with any mods and that'll be it for this video uh if you want any other videos let me know uh like comment subscribe do that i uh, it is what it is i'm here to give information not to do anything else uh you guys have a good day bye